In the year 461, a crucial event unfolded within the Western Roman Empire as Livius Severus was declared emperor. This period was marked by political complexity, with the real reins of power held by the Magister Militum Ricimer. The dynamics of this political arrangement would significantly influence the fate of the Western Roman Empire during a time of internal strife and external threats. By 461, the Western Roman Empire was already grappling with a multitude of challenges, including economic decline, military pressure from barbarian invasions, and internal power struggles. The once mighty empire was a mere shadow of its former self, and the political landscape was characterized by a series of short-lived and often puppet emperors. Livius Severus' ascension to the imperial throne marked a continuation of the trend where emperors were often appointed and manipulated by influential military figures. The circumstances surrounding his rise to power and the extent of his authority were overshadowed by the dominant role played by the Magister Militum Ricimer, a powerful and influential figure in the Roman military. Ricimer, as Magister Militum, wielded substantial influence over the Roman military forces. His position allowed him to exert control over imperial politics, effectively making him a kingmaker. The relationship between Libius Severus and Ricimer was one of dependence, with the latter holding the true levers of power while the former assumed the imperial title. The period surrounding Libius Severus' reign was characterized by internal strife and political intrigue. Factions within the Roman elite vied for influence, often resorting to conspiracies and power plays. This atmosphere of uncertainty further weakened the already fragile foundations of the Western Roman Empire. Externally, the Western Roman Empire faced persistent threats from barbarian invasions. The Visigoths, Vandals, and other tribes exerted pressure on the empire's borders, creating a precarious situation for any ruler. Libius Severus and Ricimer had to navigate not only internal conflict, but also the constant challenge of defending the empire from external adversaries. The economic challenges faced by the Western Roman Empire further complicated Libius Severus' reign. Declining resources, rampant inflation, and a weakened trade network contributed to the empire's financial woes. Managing these economic issues added an additional layer of complexity to the already daunting task of governing. Social unrest simmered beneath the surface of Roman society during this time. The disparity between the wealthy elite and the impoverished masses fueled discontent. Libius Severus and Ricimer had to contend not only with external and internal threats, but also the potential for social upheaval. With Ricimer at the helm of the military, the strategies employed to safeguard the empire became crucial. The adaptation and implementation of military tactics fortifications, and alliances played a pivotal role in determining the fate of the Western Roman Empire during this tumultuous period. The reign of Libius Severus, under the shadow of Ricimer's influence, forms a part of the broader narrative of the Western Roman Empire's decline. The events of 461 and the subsequent years set the stage for the empire's eventual dissolution, marking a significant chapter in the historical narrative of the fall of Rome. Subscribe to my channel if you like these historical videos and click on the top left box for the story of Elysia's last stand, Triumph and Tragedy in Ancient Gaul. Thanks for watching.